Today we're going to be talking about weight distribution hitches um, and how to hook them up to your truck. Let's get started. So take it and slide it into your hitch almost to the pin. Take your pin out and slide it the rest of the way in. And you'll pin it. Now make sure these are one on each side. And let me take that hitch lock off. Where are my keys? All right, hitch lock. Don't put it there because you know what happens when you put it there or on your bumper. You're going to forget about it. Drive down the road, it's gone. So anytime you take something off, put it away. Back it up a little bit. All right. I'm going to drive it back a little more. Oh, by the way, the reflective tape I put here helps my camera see that spot really well. Bump. Bump it forward a little bit. All right, jack it up so there's no pressure. Pop that down. I'm going to pin it. That's now secured. I'm going to jack it back up. Jacked up. Mine has this to help you put these in. So this will have to go on top of that. That's what this is for. Put that there. And bring it up. Slams on, you take that and you secure it. Now your first time you're doing this, uh, just kind of set it up um, to where you think it's going to be. I put it, put it at this level right here. Um, I actually had to change it once because I had it lower and it needed more pressure so I moved it up one click. So. Um, just kind of uh, see where you need to go. You'll see what I, when I get this thing loaded, you'll see what I mean about that. Next side. And then we're going to put the pressure on it. Put our pressure on it. And the load is on. That's it. So, if I had that like I had it before and it was a click down, it wouldn't put as much of the tongue pressure onto the vehicle. We want a certain amount of tongue pressure on that vehicle. And we want to keep this level, of course. So, general rule of thumb, the general rule is, is if your trailer is level from front to rear, and generally, if your truck drops down a half inch with the load on it, then you're pretty good um, in the rear. So if you're dropping down a half inch or a quarter inch, you're just fine. And mine drops down a little under a half inch, a three eighths of an inch, which is perfect. So when you see the entire structure, you'll see this. It's level. And I'll show you that right now. Now, also, if you needed to put more tongue weight on the vehicle, put more load on it, you can put this up to this one so it raises it up another uh, inch pretty much. And that means you're gonna get a lot of pressure on these uh, torsion bars to put the load onto the truck. 
mine I had it set here and it's been perfect. You'll you'll kind of feel it when you go, but the general rule is um, about a half inch drop on your truck and your RV need your travel trailer needs to be level. That's the general rule. And I'll show you that right now. So here's a picture of the truck. You can see it's it's level. It's dropped my rear has dropped down three eighths of an inch. So it's a perfect drop for this weighted truck and travel trailer. The RV, I had the jacks up just a hair so I can do this video. So don't think that I actually left those down when I was jacking the thing up. <laughs> and you can see the RV is level. So the rule of thumb is if your RV is down in the front, then you need to adjust those two big bolts and raise your ball up a little bit. And that's your first set to set the thing up. Once you set this up and your travel trailer is level, then you can start working on the torsion bar part to uh, get a little more tor torsion weight to your truck. Um, it's kind of a give or take when you're setting this thing up. So that's the general rule of setting these things up. So we're also going to do a quick video of uh, unsetting this thing up, taking it off. So jack up your RV. Hope we got an electric one, but it's fine having a crank one. Unhook these, pop those off, put the pins back in so you don't lose them. Do the same for the other side. I already unloaded the other side. Lower this down. It's free. Unpin. Make sure your RV or travel trailer is chalked and make sure you got an emergency brake on in your truck. It's unpinned. Coming up. I generally leave these safety chains hooked to your truck until this is completely unpinned. Because just in case you did forget some step your RV or you know the ground's unstable or something happened. Your RV ain't gonna go run off. So leave those hooked up. Unhook. Now it's unhooked. See there? Drop that back down. Now you can take the safety chains off and drive your truck out. Take this off and you're unhooked.